Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Robbie Travels and I'm excited to take you on a journey with me. Today we will explore one of Rome's iconic castles, so sit back, relax and let's get started. like that we are here at the Saint Angelo bridge and right over there we have Saint Angelo's castle so let's visit it now yeah. I don't believe anybody feels the way I do about you now So we made it inside, now let's buy our ticket. At this time it will cost only 13 euros. So it's way less than they said it would be on the internet. And, uh, beautiful to be here. Okay, let's go inside. So the castle of Sant'Angelo was built in the second century AD by Emperor Hadrian. It was built as a mausoleum, so this is actually the final resting place for him and his family. However, it was later used as a fortress for the popes, a castle, even a prison. Look at this building. So much history inside, almost 2,000 years of history. So let's explore this awesome castle. Look forward to it. Wow! From the moment I arrived, I was immediately impressed by the size of this imposing structure, which played a crucial role in the city's defense during times of war. It's such a privilege to be able to explore the magnificent St. Angelo's Castle. The rich history of this castle spans over 2000 years. Along the way we will discover some of the castle's hidden secrets and learn about some of the incredible events that have taken place within its walls. Where are we now? <laughs> so right now I'm entering the center of the ancient mausoleum of Hadrian where his remains were laid to rest they're not longer here now but they used to be here somewhere in this room it's amazing to walk here so old and look at that so nice Wow. It's a beautiful spot here. Romantic spot as well. Hey guys, please, you're in public. Get a room, okay? As we walk inside the castle, we come across a number of museum galleries displaying a range of religious works. I'm very excited to see some of the paintings and sculptures on display here. As a result, I will be visiting several rooms across the castle to get a clear sense of the collection as a whole. Here we got Cupid. He probably shot that two lovers with an arrow we saw earlier. <laughs> Beautiful courtyard here. They have like some Christmas lights here, very nice. And uh, over here we have a beautiful statue. I think it's from Archangel Michael. See what they say here. Yes, Archangel Michael 1544. 
Yeah, beautiful inside courtyard. Look at the, the sculpture over there. Very beautiful. Wow. Let's take a look at the top of those stairs now. Look at this beautiful view from over here. Right over there, we have the center of the city of Rome. Beautiful bridge over there. And over there, of course, we have the Vatican City with the St. Peter's Basilica. You can see some parts of the Vatican Museums, the Apostolic Palace, where the Pope is. Yeah, beautiful view here. Ooh, I love it. Gonna make some pictures for my Instagram now. Isn't this a nice view? Enjoying my bottle of water with the view on the St. Peter's Basilica. Cheers, guys. So, right over there, you can see that small bridge over here going all the way to the Vatican. That is the Passetto di Borgio. It is around 800 meter long and it was used as a escape route for popes in danger. So they could escape from Vatican City all the way to here to the castle. So Pope Alexander VI actually used this passageway when his life was in danger, when Charles VIII was invading the city. And it's that passageway I'm talking about. And also when Pope Clement VII safely used this passage to escape the city when the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V invaded the city with his troops and almost killed the entire Swiss Guard on the steps of the St. Peter's Basilica. Wow! So that was a little bit the history of this uh, passageway. So amazing view here from the top of the castle. Right over there. The Vittorio Emmanuel II monument, right there. The Angels Bridge, the Vatican over there. Yeah, awesome. It's really nice. And um, here we have a nice view on the St. Peter's Basilica. The Apostolic Palace over there where the Pope's living. So we're here in the Vatican Museums. So I'm gonna have a small breakfast now with the view. Very nice, right? Thank you. So here is my 
Greek lunch. Need to be careful because that bastard is gonna steal it, I guess. So I got a little breakfast here now. And uh, I'm sorry, mate, that I called you a bastard, but you need to stay away from my food because when I'm hungry and you steal my food, I get mad. But uh, now you're my friend again. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really impressive place. <laughs> Beautiful sculptures as well. Yeah. Amazing place. I can really recommend a visit to this place, to be honest. So impressive. My friend Eve is also already here now. He's waiting for me by the exit but the thing is that I don't know when I will actually leave here because it seems like there's no end to this place <laughs> so here we can see some weapons like cannons a catapult and uh, where is that little tower here is actually where the Passetto di Borgio starts all the way to Vatican City and uh, if you follow these stairs here you will eventually end up at the Passetto di Borgio where you have a straight connection with the Vatican the way the popes used to flee the Vatican all the way they would come down this alley all the way through here and be safe again you know and this area is so beautiful look everywhere around it are parks green areas and also monumental buildings the angels bridge uh, so beautiful amazing place Well, it was a nice visit here to the castle of Sant'Angelo, walking around these walls, uh, visiting the mausoleum, having an awesome view from the top there. Wow, amazing place. Now let's see what we will do next, because actually there's nothing on my schedule for today, so maybe we will just walk around a little bit. We're now here at the Gelateria del Campo. We're gonna try some gelato ice cream over there. And uh, it's actually this place. So let's enjoy an ice cream. Right, Eve? Yes, let's go. No. So here we have it, the ice cream with Kinder Bueno and something with cookie but I don't remember it with uh, you can see the sprinkles of the coconut on the ice cream cone so yeah this is a nice way to say goodbye today cheers